Well, meantime, Bill McGurn nice. writing in the Wall Street Journal that Vice President Kamala Harris is not the person to blame for the crisis as much as her boss, President Biden. He joins us now. Bill, your, your uh, piece is entitled <laughs> Stop Blaming Kamala Harris, but she, she's such an easy target. I mean, you know, she comes out with these misstatements. Uh, uh, she's, she's made head of the border more than two months ago, and she's never been to the border. Uh, why do you think she's not to blame? Well, because the policy is Joe Biden's. Look, she's performed badly on television. You know, her interview with Lester Holt, where she answered by saying, I haven't been to Europe. Um, I mean, she does not she does not answer well when there's tough questions and she tends to try to cover it up with the nervous laughter and so forth. And so it's all fair game to to go after vice president for doing this. But let's remember, what can she say? Given Joe Biden's policies, given his grandstanding when he first came into office, you know, within the first week, writing these executive orders, reversing Trump policies without any concern for the effect they have, you know, the uh, the president of Guatemala says, look, what happened is um, it changed from a red light to a green light when Joe Biden came into office. Right. And now Kamala Harris has to say, don't come here to make up but for her boss. But this is all on Joe Biden. This is created by Joe Biden. And what's interesting to me is that the press is letting Joe Biden off the hook and putting it all on the vice president who did not issue these orders, who is not responsible for creating the problem um, at the border. And it just it just lets old Joe well, off the hook. I would disagree a little bit on two cases. First of all, when she was running for president herself, she was one of those people who wrote, rose her hand and said, yes, I'm forgiving uh, immigrants all of these benefits. I'm, she pretty much said, I'm for open borders. She didn't put it in those words, but those that was the implication of what she was saying. Uh, and then the other thing is she she, she was given the job of the border by the president in front of all of America right. over two months ago. She's supposed to take right. some initiative, and the first initiative she could take is to go to the border that she's supposedly in charge of. Yeah, would you go to the border under this policy? It's just a giant gotcha moment. Of course she's not going to go if she can avoid it. That's why Joe Biden isn't going, probably why he dumped it on her. Look, I... I, I want to be clear. If, I, if, if there were a president, Harris, I think it might even be worse down mm -hmm. there than it is under Joe Biden. But these are Joe Biden's executive orders. He is the president. You know, he told us it was going to be a new day. I would think that it's important for him to go to the border. What is she going to do with the border if they don't change their policies? Right, There's right. no solution. You know, root, root causes is some root causes what you say when you know what you're doing isn't going to work. Yes. And you want to sort of imply that nothing will work. It's yeah. beyond your capability. I mean, everyone knows root causes is a way of saying I don't have a clue. All right. Very quickly, switching gears, President Biden says the GOP is now fractured. Take a listen. The Republican Party is vastly diminished in numbers. The leadership of the Republican Party is fractured. And the... Trump wing of the party is the bulk of the party, but it makes up a significant minority of the American people. Now, Bill, there was a recent Gallup poll showing a Republican Party affiliation has actually increased since President Biden took office. So who's right, right. on this, the poll or the president? Yeah, well, first of all, I think it's really disgraceful for a president to make a partisan attack on the other party while he's overseas. I just think, you know, we didn't do that sort of thing before. Second, I think if you're looking at the midterms, who's more nervous, Republicans or Democrats? Um, I think Joe Biden might get some surprises. Yes, the Republican Party has fissures and fights over leadership. That always happens to the party mm -hmm. in exile. But um, I, I think that they look to the next year's elections with a little more confidence than, say, Mrs. Pelosi or Mr. Schumer might be looking at it. All right. Bill McGurn, good to see you from The Wall Street Journal. Thank you, Bill.